Today we are trying our subscription box makeup for March of 2020. Um, we don't have sleigh. Yeah, we have again. Boxy Charm, we have Ipsy Glam Bag, and we have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. If you've not seen those videos, go check those out because we don't talk about every single product right. because if there's skincare or hair care, we typically don't talk about that stuff. This right. is just um, kind of makeup. a makeup try on. Right. And sometimes we get multiples of like, we might get multiple eyeshadow palettes mm -hmm. or something like that. So we only try like one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I actually did try the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer underneath my foundation. And of course I have a matte foundation, so it doesn't like, it doesn't leave my skin looking dewy or anything like that. It, you know, the, the matte foundation covers it up, but it does feel good. It feels really hydrating. Um, I like it. I'm always kind of more like, okay, if I'm gonna use a primer, it's gonna be more of a like a pore filling primer, mm -hmm. pore minimizing, something like that. But this did really feel good. So, I mean, not that I probably will purchase it because it's yeah. not a pore, but it feels good. So. Um, I did go ahead and try out the concealer, precision concealer brush. I tried it out. Um, so I conceal like my forehead a little bit, under the eyes, the chin, and down the nose slightly. Um, for blending it out on the face, the forehead, especially, okay, if you're someone who does your brows first and you're using this, this will be so easy because you can just really mm -hmm. like work it in there and in between the eyebrows, stuff like that. So for the, the like overall face area, so for, forehead, nose, chin, it worked really, really well. But what I noticed with under the eyes, where you can get it up in there um, and like up to your lower you, lash yeah, line. Yeah, your lower lash line. You can like work it into those places, but it left streaks and stuff. And whenever you try to tap it out, it's really like dense and hard mm -hmm. for the under eye. Yeah. So for the like that would almost forehead, be and it kind of was a little <laughs> bit. So. I noticed myself trying to kind of like what's the word move it around uh -huh. instead of dabbing it and that was leaving streaks so for that I just well I could use just, it on the face yeah but just not the under else. eye so we're gonna go ahead and move on to some of the beauty products that we got bronzer oh. I'm so excited about and this it is a full-size bronzer from Ofra um getting Ofra products is like this to was, me it's amazing this it's was one of my by the companies. way in our glam bag not the plus yes. regular glam bag so yes. i think that is absolutely incredible so i'm going in with a clean brush so where it has no other colors on it um this is actually a precision foundation brush from luxie but i use it as a bronzer, a bronzer brush. brush um i might go in with my big fat one from complex complex culture which is actually the same brand as this one, they have really good quality brushes, um, but this is an actual bronzer brush. Right. So, and I'm going to be using um, this Luxie brush. I know it's kind of a little bit more; it's less densely packed than the one that I normally use. But I'm going to give this a try. It is a, a pro precision tapered brush, so I'm thinking I can maybe get it in there mm -hmm. and um, kind of get those little spots. So the bronzer is beautiful. It is really I absolutely pretty. love it. And you can kind of tell like on on us like <laughs> I kind of go in a bit with bronzer. Um with bronzer I do. Um and you can kind of tell that it is very buildable mm -hmm. cuz you didn't build it up that much. I built it I built it up a lot. Um so it is buildable. Definitely. It's a really great color. It I is feel a like. beautiful color. Um, I I feel like it almost translate, translates a bit more orange than it actually is in person, like on camera. Because um, looking yeah. at myself, I do it's, see that I look a little orange. I don't know if that's... Yeah, and she does gonna, it on... Yeah. Like, like looking in the mirror, I'm like, it's a really, really nice, really nice color. But then on yeah. camera, it is a little more orange. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but it's really good. It is really, really good. And I'm not surprised about that. So. Yeah. Um, the brush 
is a great brush, although I probably will not be using it for bronzer. Um, it just doesn't, it's, it's a little bit long and fluffy and not very dense. And so it was a little bit harder and I felt like I had less control mm -hmm. of actually where I was putting the products. And so I was really being very careful. Um, but I mean, normally I use this kind of tapered brush and I can literally get in there and it's pretty dense. And so I can put it exactly yeah. where I want it, where this was a little bit too floppy for the lack of better words. Um, so yeah, I'll, I definitely will be using the brush. I will find something else that I can use it and be successful with it. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and do highlight. She just did blush. I'm gonna like skip blush. I did do a little bit of the remnants that I already had like on my brush. Um, but I feel like since this is a kind of a pinky color, that I could almost get away with using mm -hmm. it as a mix. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. If it's like too shimmery, I'm not gonna like carry it on down, um, but we'll see. If I remember correctly, it did not look like it was super, super shimmery. Yeah, it just kind of gives like a healthy yeah. looking glow. Not, Gosh, it's so pretty. Not super bright. Actually, it, it's, Kinda, it kind of is. Like maybe I went a bit more heavy. You you probably did do a little bit heavier. Mine's just That's real kind of subtle. So you can build it up obviously, obviously, or you can do a bit more subtle, but that's so pretty. I'm in love with that. My favorite spot right up here in, on the forehead. I love making that glowy right there. Ooh my favorite okay so I do really like this this is actually this is one of those things that I was kind of like mm, I don't know how I feel about it it probably isn't gonna be that great because when I rest watched it it was it, it was it, okay yeah it, it wasn't like a it was your mind highlight so I'm actually pretty impressed with that it definitely builds up because mm -hmm. You went in a little heavier handed than I did. I have just kind of that subtle glow. Yeah. And yours and is definitely also, highlight. And also, it didn't, it doesn't come off very pink. Mm -hmm. It has like a very golden, yeah. um, champagne-y color yeah. to it. It's which very is, pretty. Yeah. Very, very it's pretty. stunning. It really is. So, next we're going to brows. We both got the 60 second, it's the um, billion dollar brow, 60 seconds to beautiful brows. Um, it is a brow powder and comes with a brush and it has a spoolie on the other end. And it's in the shade taupe, so, so hopefully here, that's the perfect shade for us. Here is the angled brush and the little spoolie. So we shall see. Sometimes when we try these brow products, they like come off I, red or I have something like that. Pretty high hopes for this though because I, I have tried billion dollar brows and a lot of the products are pretty good. Um and the colors aren't like crazy off or anything. I need to pluck my brows out. <laughs> They're looking a little crazy. I've gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the brow product as well. I'm not the type that uses a brow powder. I always use a brow pencil because it just really like you can get in between every brow hair and just really work it in there. Um, and that has always worked for me. Um, I've never not been a fan of brow powders. So, yeah. I mean, this is a pretty good well, one. It was um, very similar to like I use um, a, a pomade, a pomade um, from Benefit, and it was very similar. Um, of course, it went on, you know, more dry than, yeah. you know. Of course, But, yeah. it, I mean, the same application was pretty much identical. So, I say that I really liked it. Yeah, so. I did too. So, we both did get the um, Yenza Super 8 Lip Oil. And I've tried this brand before, I've tried a primer, and I absolutely love that primer. So I kind of have high hopes for it, but then again, it is just a lip yeah, oil. Yeah, it's, it's a lip oil. We swatched so, it, and it doesn't give off much color, thankfully, because it's like hot pink. Yeah, it really is. So, oh, 
I don't think I ever Yum. saw Yum. That. that smells delicious. I think when we opened this, I was still like, I couldn't smell anything. Oh yeah, because you had bent. You could smell so I feel a whole lot better. Oh my. I actually really love with oils. Um, I kind of use these in between applications with lipstick. So if I know, like if I'm out and about and then I come home, I'll go ahead and put on a lip oil or like in the car. And it's just so nourishing. This is so nice. It's like such it's a nice very hydrating. Mm. And it smells so good. And it does have just a bit of a tint. Like you can just see. Just barely. My, yours looks more tinted than mine. Did you have um, foundation, foundation on your lips? That's probably why. Yeah. I'm a big fan though. I like that. That'll like definitely, as it sits while we're doing our eye makeup, that'll definitely like nourish the lips and everything. Oh, yeah. So I'm excited. Um, we actually both got in our glam bag plus mm -hmm. a the balm palette i got the auto balm pick perf shadows on the go and mine is day to night um i also got a eyeshadow palette from boxycharm that i think i'll try I'll, I'll for sure try this one um i don't know if i should throw in some of these shades because i feel like you'll yeah, I'm gonna, you'll kind of know the the textures i don't have and, another and, and i'm like really that. anxious to try this like this looks like, this is just so beautiful. I know it that the so mats, I think it was on that. Yeah, the mats on this, like, whenever I swatched it, I was, like, kind of powdery. cringing. Like, it was so powdery. But, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. But we'll try it on the eyes. So, my eyes are all prepped, ready for some shadows. So, I'm going to go in with the direct middle shade right there. Um, it's the shade Rosalinda. Um, and I'm not sure how in the world this look is going to turn out, but this has a black primer right there. And so I'm going to use this all over the lid, not in the crease and above, but all over the lid. We're going to see what happens. I know there were a couple of you guys that wanted to see. Also, I'm going to be using the, um, the brush that we got in our Ipsy. That we added on. That we added on. I'm going to be using that. It is a precision eyelid brush, so that should work really, really well. Should, for sure. And by the way, I'm just kind of taking this in the crease as a transition shade. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go in with two of the shimmer shades. So I'm actually going in with Sultry, Sultry Sin and Fusha, Fusha, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but it's the pink and purple right here. So I'm gonna take the purple on the outer and the pink on the inner. Might switch them, I don't know. I'm like debating, like do I do the purple on the outside, pink on the inside, or pink on the outside, purple on the inside. Um, this is where this should be interactive. I know. Like, you guys tell us what, we should, what, what you want to see. Yeah, what, you but know. now it's too late. Yeah. But I'm also going to be going in with these two packer brushes. I think this one is actually a concealer, but it's, to me, it's a good, it's yeah. a good like uh, glitter packer or shimmer packer or something like that. But this I got in my glam bag. And this one was the add-on, the same one that you just used, mm -hmm. um, the Complex Culture. All right, so thoughts on the black primer. It's not bad, but pulling the whole look together is going to be the question. Um, it actually goes on pretty good. It can be built up to darker or even, like, it went on a little bit lighter than this, and I deepened it up a little bit. Um, but it's very forgiving because I kind of got it over here on, like, kind of drug it down on the corner a little bit. And I just took my finger and just wiped up just so slightly. And it came off and it was great. Hmm. So, I'm actually going to be going in kind of a crease color. I'm going to be using Hollywood Boulevard right there. 
Okay, so the shimmers, I like the purple shimmer, but the pink one isn't really my favorite. I don't know. Um, but I'm actually going to go in with the same metal shade that I used on the top on the lower lash line as well. And I'm going to do something that I did in one of our last try on videos um, where I create a gradient shimmer look because I really, really liked that. Um, so I'm going to be using Pot Street. I hope that's how to pronounce it. Every other, <laughs> every other street I've heard of. That one I have not. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Madison Avenue and then with Wall Street. And I'm going to kind of gradiate these colors on my lid. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the Hot Street on the lower lash line just a little bit. So let's see how it turns out. To complete the look, I am going to take this uh, Rodeo Drive shade. It is a like lighter shimmery shade, so I'm going to put this on the inner corner. And I'm going to be taking Las Vegas Boulevard right here, and I'm going to be doing this on the brow bone and the inner corner. Alright, I have to say that I absolutely love this tiny little palette. Um, it has got like some of the prettiest colors in there. The black primer actually did kind of add to the more smokiness of you know the um, shimmer shades and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the eyeshadows went over the primer very very well. Um, the shimmer shades were beautiful. I love that gradient look. Like I'm so in love with that. Um, I think it turned out super well. The shimmers and the mattes perfect pigmentation i mean i just cannot say enough really great things about this little palette this is amazing i will say the one shade that i did try the rodeo drive was incredible like i love that little pop right there like that's really great um this palette I don't see myself reaching for this palette very it's a often. It's a lot of color for your everyday. It's like, not even that it's colorful. I just, I just don't think it was, it wasn't bad quality, but I don't think it's the, the best. best quality. So. And you have a lot better quality palettes in your collection. Yeah. That you, yeah. I'm, so, I'm that way too. If I, if the quality is not like there, I tend to not reach for it. Yeah. So. Not that the quality was bad. Um, it's just that I think the shimmer shades are pressed a little too hard. The matte shades, um, the matte shade blended out pretty good. Not the best that I've had a matte shade blend out for yeah. me. Um, but I'm just not the biggest fan of it. So we are going to um, finish our eye look with some mascara off camera. And I am actually going to go ahead and do my lips. So I have the Jante Blue Lip Liner. I didn't get this in anything, but I did get a lip gloss that I wanted to try out, but I didn't want to try it out necessarily on its own. Right. So I'm going to line my lips with a with the dark neutral Jante Blue Lip Liner and then pop on some lip gloss and that will complete my look. So this lip gloss, this is the Vintage by Jessica Leapskin. I'm actually kind of a fan of it. It's not like it's not sticky. It's not tacky. sticky. It feels very nourishing, actually. Like it's not goopy mm -hmm. or yeah, like, you know, like it doesn't string or anything like that. So I like it. It's not like a crazy color or anything. It's just the perfect lip gloss. I mean, what can I say? I really like it. It looks really good. It does. Like it's That's really good. It's such a pretty color. And the um, lip liner that I use, it's not like it changed the shade like mm -hmm. that no. crazy or drastically or anything. Um, but I, I've got to say I'm a fan of the whole look altogether. I, I think there were only a few things, if even a 
few that I didn't really like. I think that the only thing I can think of was the brush, this little concealer yeah. brush. I liked it for um, forehead, nose, right. chin, but not the under eyes. Um, and then the palette wasn't necessarily my favorite. I think that was the only things that I didn't love. I... Um, but even still, both of those things I still liked. I pretty much loved everything. Like the only thing was this brush didn't work super well for the bronzer. Yeah. Um, but I am going to be using it for something else. And so, I mean, it, just because I can't use it for a bronzer doesn't mean I can't use it. So I will be finding something that it's perfect for. But other than that, I mean, everything is, Okay, so the lip oil, I'm not a huge fan of lip oils. It was definitely very hydrating. Um, and my lipstick that I have on right now is my Jeffree Star, my all time favorite, the Lure Liquid Lipstick. Um, and it feels, cause I put it on over that, I didn't wipe it all off. I put it on over this and it feels really nice. Now it's probably not going to be- As um, long lasting. As long lasting or smear as smear proof as what it normally is, but hey, it feels really good. So I won't be using it on its own, but probably like for a little extra moisture on my lips. Yeah. So I think that is actually it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. We'll have two other videos right over there that you can check out and our subscribe button is right down there. So until our next video, bye. bye.